Hi, I've been tagged. Yeah, the allotment challenge. We've been asked to answer 10 questions, so I've given it some thought and here we go. Question 1 How long have you had your allotment? Well, not very long, that is. I've only had it six months, though my daughter's got an allotment and I've helped her with that. Uh, and um, so that's she's had that in about what four years, but um, I've only had mine six months. Question two How long were you waiting for your plot? Well, quite a long time actually, three years. The uh, allotment's quite popular in our village. We have, I think, three, no, four, four sites. Um, there's three that are run by the village and uh, one by Lewis Council. So that's four. So it is quite popular. Question three. Where did you learn about gardening? Well, it's always been there. Um, when I was a child during the war, the grandfather converted the back garden, his back garden, in, in, in to growing vegetables, and uh, turned his uh, Anderson shelter into growing chickens and a few ducks. And then, uh, living in the big city, my mother would send me to the uh, local allotments near the park, uh, and I would buy the veg from there and by showing an interest in what the gardeners were doing I always got good value and that's why she used to send me so that was okay. When we moved on to the outskirts of Leeds my father he uh, had a vegetable garden uh, and wherever he's lived even right up to him dying he, he's always kept the gardening going uh, growing vegetables and chrysanthemums the latter part of his life he devoted it to growing croissants. So that's always been uh, an interest. Uh, when I was an apprentice carpenter, uh, we used to do um, work at the big houses on Scotland Lane, which were all big mill owners and they had butlers and um, cooks and uh, gardeners. And when we worked there, we always had to have our breaks and lunches with the gardeners. Uh, and you know, we were always interested in, in what was going on. And we built a lot of garden structures, such as greenhouses and cold frames. And this is long before uh, plastic came in, so they're all the old-fashioned timber. So, quite a long time and quite a varied interest. And then when I got married, the wife's family, they're very keen on the allotment. And uh, they used to provide us with a lot of vegetables as well. So. Uh, that's where I've basically got my knowledge from. Question 4. Do you plant a winter garden? Well, if you mean a garden, my wife does. Uh, if you look at our garden, you'll see at the moment, which is winter, that we've got helleborus coming out uh, into flower. We've got uh, pyracanthus. Um, a bit later on we, we've got a clematis that comes out uh, in January uh, and then in February you get the um, Forsythia. So she always tries to keep some colour going throughout the year. But as far as the, uh, the vegetable plot is, no, uh, just the normal uh, overwintering cabbages and the, and, and the like. Question 5. What has been your biggest success this year? Well, two successes really. One was really my grandchildren because it was them that did it. They entered my cauliflowers into the local garden show and they won first prize, so um, that's a success. But the main big success was the sweet corn. They were absolutely fantastic this year. They were big, large, sweet, uh, really, really good. And the grandkids loved them as well. What has been your gardening disaster? Well this year I just could not grow beetroot. Don't know why, just couldn't grow it. 
I've, I've grown it before, but this year it was absolute rubbish. And I don't know whether it was the birds pecking it out or what. Um, uh, the misfiring was terrible. Uh, that was no good. Do you have a tried and tested variety? Well, I always grow potatoes in buckets. <clears throat> Even when I didn't have an allotment, I've always had uh, at least a dozen buckets growing potatoes. And uh, I've found that the best ones, and I always grow them each year, is Nadine. And uh, they're, they're very good. But apart from that, I don't have anything that's really special. Question 8. Are you planning on growing anything new this year, next year? Well, my wife has asked me to uh, plant some Victoria plums. She likes Victoria plums. And um, I was going to purchase a couple of cordons and put them into the allotment. Question 9. How do you preserve your crops? don't really, we eat them. Um, though we, we did have a, a glut of uh, runner beans this year and a lot of those were picked and, and frozen but uh, that was more by coincidence or chance than uh, purpose. And question 10 Where is your favourite meal to cook? Well I don't do the cooking at home I did when I worked away from home and I had a flat, but uh, in this establishment my wife does the cooking and she's a very good cook and there's nothing better than a Sunday roast with Yorkshire puddings and uh, vegetables grown from the allotment or the garden, uh, cabbage, potatoes, broad beans and of course the, the sweet corn and it's great to go from plot to plate, I just love it. And that's my 10 questions. Hope you find them interesting and enjoy. Bye.